if you have ever felt like writing formulas in Excel is a total drag, you're not alone. It's tough picking the right function, nailing the exact syntax, and troubleshooting errors can absolutely crush your productivity. There is a new powerful AI tool that could do the heavy lifting for you. Meet Generate Formula, the incredible new copilot feature in Excel. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I walk you through exactly how it uses your worksheet's context, headers, tables, everything to proactively write the formulas you need, letting you focus on your data instead of the syntax. Ready to save a ton of time? Let's get started. This is Excel Online and the new functionality generate formula using Copilot for completing and suggesting formulas is triggered by typing an equal sign. In this worksheet, I have in column A some dates and I would like to extract the year, the month and the day from the column of dates. In cell B2, I type an equal sign, generate formula with copilot window appears and then in few seconds, it suggests a formula for extracting the year. I'm going to hit tab and here is the result of the formula. In column C, I type an equal sign and then it suggests a month function for extracting the month from the date. Actually, this tool is using the context of your worksheet, the headers, the nearby cells and formulas, the tables. Alongside the suggestion, you will see a preview of the result as well as a short description in natural language of the formula's intent. I hit tab to enter the month and I'll be doing the same in column D for the date. I type an equal sign. It suggests a day function and that's wonderful. Now I want to copy these functions down. I select them, I double click and send them down. Wonderful. That was a very simple formula. Now let's look at a different example. In this worksheet, I have a list which shows a payment, a product, a region and sales. And then in rows from two to seven, I want to calculate the total sales paid by each payment method. Will this new tool generate formula be able to understand my intent? So I'm going to start by typing in cell C3 an equal sign. And look at that. This is just magical. It creates a sum ifs function. It picks up the sum range, which is the sales, the criteria range, the payment, and the condition, which is master. Not only this, but it's locking some ranges because it understood that I have the intention of copying down. So I hit enter and here is the result and I can copy this function all the way down for the other payment methods. In my next example, I have a list of managers and the quarterly sales for each manager along with the total sales. I want to create a conditional if function in column H that compares the total sales to the sales goal in cell C1. If the manager hits the sales goal, then we want to give that manager a 2% commission. Let's see if the generate formula will be able to identify the context of this worksheet. So in cell H5, I type an equal sign. And surprisingly, it was able to understand what I want to do. So it creates an if function with a logical test. And the logical test compares the sales for the first employee to the sales goal. If the employee hits the sales goal, we'll be giving a 2% commission from cell H1. Otherwise, it will return a zero. That's wonderful. And look at the cell references. Cell C1 and cell H1 are locked. They are absolute cell references. So I can copy the function down. I hit enter and now I can double click to send it down. In my next example, I have a price list which shows a product, a price and a color. And in cell B3, I want to create a lookup function, whether a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP function that looks at the product selected in cell A3 and then looks at the price list and returns the price. So I select cell B3 and I type an equal sign and wait for the generate formula with Copilot 
to give me a suggestion. Automatically, it created the more recent XLOOKUP function that looks at the value in cell A3. And then for the lookup column, it looks at the product in column D. And for the return value, it looks at column E, which is the price. And if empty, it will return not found. Then I hit enter. That's exactly what I want to do. I have a drop list in cell A3 and I want to see if it's dynamic. So what if I select product 3? Automatically it updates and it returns the corresponding price. But hold on for a second. What if I want to return the color? The color is in column F. Then the return value should be from column F. I have my label in cell B2 which reads price. And because this tool looks at the headers, it looks at the values, it understands the context. Using a drop list, I'm going to change price and I select color. It didn't respond and I will have either to manually edit the function or recreate it one more time. I'm going to recreate the function. I type an equal sign just to confirm that it's looking at the headers and now it picked up the right return column, which is the color in column F. I hit enter and that's wonderful. To the right side of this worksheet, I have an income tax table. Assuming that my income is 3,947, the value that you see in cell K3, I want to create a VLOOKUP function or an XLOOKUP function with an approximate match that will return the corresponding tax amount. It's highlighted by conditional formatting. This is not an exact match. This is an approximate match. So to trigger the generate formula with Copilot, I type an equal sign. And it created a VLOOKUP function with an approximate match. And that's wonderful. What if I type a different value for the income? Let's say 4999. That means one single dollar below the 5,000 bracket, nothing changes. That's correct. What if I type 5,001? I hit enter, it becomes 120, and that's correct. So the function created works fine. In my next example, I have a list that shows some student names, the first name, the last name, a student ID, and the score for each student in reading, writing, and math. Whenever I select any student from a drop list in cell J2, I want to create a function that extracts the corresponding reading, writing, and math score. That's the perfect job of a VLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP function. So let's see what happens. I'll be typing an equal sign. And automatically it creates an XLOOKUP function that looks at the student ID. The lookup column is column D, the student, and the return array is column E, the reading score. By looking at this function, I have a little issue, and this function cannot be copied as is. So when I hit enter, and then I try to copy this function, I get not found for the writing and math. When I put my function in the edit mode, for this function to work properly, the return array should include columns E, F, and G. So I have to edit this function manually. So I'm going to delete the E and I'll type G. And now when I hit enter, I was able to get the score for reading, writing, and math. The VLOOKUP function cannot extract from the left side of the lookup column. So what if I want to extract the first and last name? I'll be typing in cell K7 an equal sign. And Copilot created an XLOOKUP function for me, but it has the same issue like the function created for the reading, writing, and math, because the return array is locked. So I'm going to hit enter, and if I copy this function to the right, it says not found. I'm going to undo and edit the function manually. I hit F2 and I change column B for the return array and make it C. When I hit enter, I get the first and last name. In our last example, 
I have a list that shows a date, a region, a manager, a customer, cost of goods sold, then sales. And then I have two drop lists in cell H2 from which I can select a different region. And I have a drop list in cell I2 from which I can select a different manager. What I want to do whenever I select any region and any manager, I want the corresponding records from the source data to be extracted in the range from column K to column P. Typically, I would use a filter function. So let's see what the generate formula with Copilot will be able to do. I type an equal sign to trigger the functionality and automatically it creates an XLOOKUP function. The XLOOKUP function is not a suitable function for this situation. So I'm going to hit escape and to help the tool work, I'm going to start typing the name of the function, equal filter. I give it a moment and now I'm looking at the filter function. It's filtering the range from A2 to F35 and that's fine. And then it wants to include the records if the region is equal to H2 and it has another condition. So it multiplies the two conditions. That means an end operator looking at the manager in column C if it's equal to I2. Now let's hit enter and look at that. This is just spectacular. If I change the region and I select a different region, I select east and then I select a different manager. So these are the records for the east and the bill. At the time of this recording, the formula completion generate formula is rolling out for Copilot users on Excel online for US English only. Generate formula for Excel desktop as well as additional language support will be available in a future release. And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumb up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.